Answer you know, that is so that. funny because that's what Mark Zuckerberg said um, when he introduced the like button. Because, you know, the like button, the Facebook like button is really interesting because it was the beginning of tracking across the internet that it was identified by name, right? Facebook knows your name, whereas the online advertisers actually never knew. They just had a cookie number. And when he introduced it, he actually said, this is going to make the web heaven because it will, the web will suddenly be identified. All your friends will be there offering you recommendations yeah. along the way. Mark and Zuckerberg <laughs> is a brilliant guy. Right? So. <laughs> right. so um, I agree with you, Kevin. Like, I am not a Luddite. I want every single good thing that this techno the information economy can bring me. What I want is to minimize the downside, right? And I think of this like cars. So cars are great. They get me where I want to go. I think most Americans live and die by their cars. They're also super dangerous, right? And the reason we get comfortable getting into a car is two things. One, baseline safety standards, which is all cars have to meet them, and also due process. If something happens, we can sue the car manufacturer for not meeting the standards, and they're probably gonna have to go testify in Congress and cry and say they're sorry and pay millions of dollars, and that's, where, that's the way it should be, yeah. right? I have some accountability. And so we don't have that with the data economy. So Facebook is a perfect example. The baseline safety standard might I would say most people would agree that manipulating people's emotions in order to try to make them feel depressed for a week by only showing them negative updates from their friends. So I don't know if everybody knows the study, but basically Facebook was discovered to have conducted un unwittingly on all of its members, uh, no, on 700,000 of them, um, half of them saw only positive updates from their friends for a week and half saw only negative. They had done it through a filter of their own about what they considered positive and negative. Now, now there's a huge outcry about that. And the truth is that I feel like if I was going to set a baseline safety standard for use of my data, manipulating my emotions to try to make me feel that all my friends were depressed would be something that would be below the line. It would yeah. be something I would not say I wanted in my baseline standards. But we don't have any baseline standards. And the crazy thing about our standards is when I joined Facebook, its privacy policy said whatever, whatever, it's changed six times. Yeah. And I haven't, you know, my opt out of that is to quit Facebook, right? So even if I consent to the original terms of this engagement, those terms change, right? So for me, that doesn't meet the standard of a baseline. And then due process. I have no no rights. I have literally no rights over my data. Because, if I'm, because in signing the user agreement, you I've, signed I've away signed all the away. And so Which he me, read every line of, I'm sure. <laughs> he probably did. Actually. I probably, probably did. probably the one person in America who's read every <laughs> I line. I probably did, but it did me no good <laughs> yeah. because I joined anyways, and then they changed them six times. Yeah. So, um, in fact, if one very interesting thing about this emotion manipulation study is it emerged that they actually later added, four months after they conducted the study, they added the word research to their privacy policy. Hmm. It wasn't actually in their use of data for research. Um, this was revealed on, one of, on uh, Forbes' blog. But um, anyway, so my feeling is, like, I want to participate in this economy. I'm ready for Google to give me those lunch recommendations. But they have to agree, because right now, hmm. they could literally wake up today and be like, you know what? I think I'm going to sell all this data in North Korea. That's just how I feel today. And they can. Mm. <laughs> like, that's it. There's no law that says so, they can. Well, 